Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to be looking at the format method. But first, let's try to create the string I am five years old without using the five as part of the string, i.e. using a variable instead. The first thing we'd have to do is create an age variable which holds the value five or indeed any other value and then say I am plus str age plus years old. And what this would do is get the I am string, remember the space at the end, just to create the space necessary for the age, and then would append the age, and then it would append years old. And this would give you I am five years old. But it's a bit of a pain to write this. You have to close the string, then add, and then add again, and then put str, don't forget about that. So it's a bit of a hassle to have to do that. So instead what we can do is say, I am, and then opening and closing curly brace, years old. And now this opening and closing curly brace is a placeholder for something else. And this something else can be the age. And what we do is we format the string to replace these with the age. And the way we do that is we type out our string and then dot format. And what this format method is going to do is it's going to replace whatever is inside the bracket for these two elements here. So what we have to give this format method is the age. And then that gives us I am five years old, which is exactly what we wanted. So what other uses does this format method have? What happens if I say I am five years and months old? Then we'd format and say age. And then we'd put a comma and say seven, for example, the number seven. And this age will go to the first set of curly braces. And the seven, which is after the comma, we'll go to the second set of curly braces, and if we had more sets of curly braces, then we would have more commas, and the next thing would get swapped over. Okay, so one last thing that we can do with this format method that is the coolest thing I find about this format is that we can say, I am and then instead of doing opening and closing curly brace by themselves, we can type in a name. So for example, age. Years old. Are you age years old too? So notice how these are the same and they have age inside them. This age is the name of the variable. Sorry, not the name of the variable, forget that. This is the name of the placeholder. So then we'd say format, and then we'd say age, which is the name of the placeholder, equals five, which is our age, or indeed age, which is our age variable. And now I understand this sounds a bit strange, and I've done it on purpose so that you understand that Python is A, not intelligent, and B, works in very specific ways. The first age is the name of whatever it is we're giving the format method. This format method, if we give it this age, expects a placeholder to have age inside it, and then it will replace this value for the placeholder called age. So really this age and this age are completely different. This age is not a variable, it's just the name of the placeholder. This age is the variable that we created up here. And these are some uses of the format method. It has many more, and you can look that up in the, pro in the Python reference. And it is, it is a really cool thing, and it has a lot of different things you can do with it. In the very next video, we'll be looking at the input method, and then we'll proceed into the if, elif, and else. So I'll see you in the next video.